right guys so today's the next day uh martin's actually not here today but he did help me install this so thank you martin now that all that is all set i've never done the wiring for this before but uh i do have everything i need so i went and bought some of these and this is just for like testing purposes just to like try and figure out the wiring and i think once we figure out the wiring and how everything goes we'll actually solder everything in place and then i shouldn't have to use these anymore so i got one of these i don't know if you guys are going to need this i know i know that the wiring is different between a, a 0204 rsx and a 0506 uh, some of these wires can also be different. Um, I ended up getting some of this 8 gauge wire to power the on um, the rack So that's pretty much I think everything you need. I think you'll also need some wiring I got like some 18 gauge 16 So I'm actually gonna go ahead and reloom this and I'm just gonna reloom it maybe like up to like maybe right here I guess the first thing I could suggest is for you guys to get like familiar with your car. Let's just start with like the ECU and where that's located. Your ECU is down here. Ah, there it is. So pull that forward. Uh, these are the two diagrams I used. And I just wanted to show you guys this because this is like very important. So your ECU is here, A, B, and E plug. I think that's the order. A, B, and, a, B, and E. Let's bring this over here because I got more light. Now that you guys know where the ECU is. All right, so this is 0506, your ECU wiring. And then this is your 0204. Actually, look, right here it says A, B, and E plug. So to wire this, and I'm gonna leave descriptions and links and stuff down in the description to help you guys. The three things you're gonna need out of those three wires that were in the car, right? Are gonna be these three right here. VSS, which is a speed sensor, your NEP, engine rpm and your ignition power so i went ahead and put a, a star on those three things right now when you read the instructions online it's gonna say something like e9 right e9 black yellow uh, ig1 ig1 is basically gonna be your power so for 0204 is a lot easier i'm gonna show you why you got all three that's why you know what I'm saying? You got your A18. A18 is gonna be one that you splice into. And that's gonna be your VSS. The other one you're gonna splice into is gonna be the E26. Those are the three things you need right here. Online, it doesn't really tell you that well. For a 0506, it's kind of confusing. Now, I'm gonna do more research and try and find 0506, the VSS. And I think that's where this comes in handy, the Dakota box. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with this stuff. I'm still learning as I go, and hopefully we can figure this out. Because I have a 0506, and I guess people with um, 0204 don't really have that issue. They could just splice right in, no problem. So. And this is what you're going to be splicing those wires that I told you about. The uh, VSS, right here. The VSS, the NEP, and the IMG these are gonna go into your brain box this thing right here these three plug in there that's done right you're gonna ground this to whatever metal surface you see inside the car so then those four are done right you got your ground you got those done then this is gonna be your power you're gonna have to cut this off and add like a 60 amp fuse or something i don't have a fuse here so i'm gonna probably test it without you're gonna have to run like an eight gauge wire a eight gauge wire from here to your fuse box or to your uh, battery just you need power so now you have power from your battery right boom done you got your ground and this is done this is going to go to the uh, brain box right this obviously right this end is what plugs to your rack and this is going to plug into your rack right there you got all these figured out right this goes to your brain box thing that i showed you this you're going to just ground to the to the frame or body somewhere this is power to your, uh, you know, from your battery. And then this is gonna plug over there. So all these right here, boom, one, two, three, three right here, four, five, all these are done. 
So all you're left is with this plug right here. So from what I read, right, I have the different type of harness, I, I guess. Depending on what harness you guys get or what year EP3 you got it this from, your wires on this plug right here are gonna be probably different. Option one right here and option two, right? The one I have in front of me, this right here, is this one right here. Green solid is my VSS, so I have a green solid right here. My green with a white stripe right there. Green with a white stripe, it's right there. And then you got your yellow right here. Your 12 volts constant or whatever. If you guys have the other harness, which I mentioned your, your colors might be different on yours, then this is what your setup might be. Now that we got the ECU kind of just figured out and we kind of got our harness figured out, right? Where everything's gonna go. These things, right? Like the VSS that I was explaining to you guys. Like if you have the 0204, right? Let's take that, right? But basically you're gonna tap into these. So if you have, let's say you have option one, right? Your VSS, your blue white on this right here, right? This is the plug you're gonna be splicing into your ECU with. Your blue white, your VSS, is gonna splice into, you're gonna have to look on here. So if you have 0204, right? You're gonna have to look for VSS right here. A18 is what you're gonna splice in blue and white into. So you look for your blue and white wire on here and you splice that right into here, VSS white green. And then that'll take care of that. Your next one, NEP, right? So you look for your, your solid blue on here if you have that harness and then you go for NEP, you gotta look for that. So that's gonna be plug E, right? Go all the way down, 26, E26. And then you tap into that. And then your next one's gonna be yellow. So you go to your harness, you find your yellow, you go down and then black, yellow, ignition one, whatever, and you tap into that. So if you have 0204, you're pretty much all set. guys so quick update I uh, turned the car on I got everything pretty much wired up I'll show you guys kind of how I have it. it's kind of really messy let me just show you guys real quick just so you guys can see Just from me driving it back and then I went around the block and then came back, everything was working, but it took like no effort. Like I could turn the whole steering wheel with one hand. Right now, like you guys can see, I could I could pretty much turn this with one finger. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did for a 0506. All right guys, so I'm gonna try my best to explain this. So you got your blue and your white wire you're gonna put a 60 amp fuse. Actually, this car over here has one. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Right here, 60 amp fuse. And this is an eight gauge wire that I bought. So you're gonna come in on this side. You're gonna put your uh, inline fuse, the 60 amp, and then you're gonna come out this side and hit your fuse box, or you're gonna hit your uh, your battery, um, your ground. I kind of just tap mine. I'll show you guys. I tapped it right there. After you plug these in, the two out to the rack and you do your power and your ground, you're only gonna have this plug left, right? This is probably the hardest part or it's pretty simple actually, but um, it's the most confusing. So you're gonna have three wires you're gonna tap into, right? I told you before, you're gonna have 
there's two different harnesses right that have different colors this is like i named it option one so this one's got uh, blue white solid blue and yellow now this is the one i have right i have it labeled right there option two the green solid is vss the green white stripe is nep and then the yellow is your 12 volt or your power this is 16 gauge wire right here that i'm using i just got three of them right so i tapped into each one your vss i kind of did it like that and then i went into nep and then i did one for uh your 12 volt so i did yellow the green with the stripe this fell off already and then your uh solid green so that's three right and then you're gonna come out i kind of just ran them through there out to that side now i labeled it on this side right and then this this same label i put on the other end so i know what that wire is you know i'm probably gonna take this cover off right here take this little plate cover thing and just find a spot up there just to place this thing you don't have to touch this side anymore you got your power you got everything so you're done on this side you're all set all right so now for this side right you got your three wires this this ecu is like flipped upside down so this plug on your left side the furthest to your left is actually your e plug and then the middle one's b plug obviously and then the one on your right this one over here that's your a plug now for 0506 right i found this diagram online and i'm gonna put it up on the screen you got your three wires labeled like i told you right this is your nep this one's your vss and then i labeled this one your 12 volt now this is what you're gonna do right your vss is gonna go to e26 you go to your first plug on the furthest left right this one right here if you look at right here 2005 2006 e plug e26 would be this one right here you see that e26 e26 you go down here that's gonna be vss out so then you're gonna tap into that you're gonna run this wire right here which came from over there your harness you're gonna tap that into that so i have it e26 and then i put a little bit of tape there i'm gonna solder that in a little bit and then your next one is uh the nep the one for the rpm is this one here would be your next one and that's gonna go to e25 same plug guys it's the e plug and this little diagram here it shows you where e25 is right next to the one we just did so you go and you tap into that one that's your next one all right so then your e25 is all set right and then you're gonna do your 12 volt which is the last one left that one's going to e9 e9 is the same plug so then you go it's black and yellow then you're gonna tap into that one and then those are all set so this plug right here after you do that it's all set you don't have to mess with that anymore you leave that alone moving on to the dakota box so you got to bring power to this thing so basically this one's going to go to your 12 volt so you're going to go back to e9 i came out of here i just went under the power right the first one so you're gonna have this to go to box and that over there also going here to e9 so you're gonna have two wires all right so next up after you do your power you're gonna have your ground ground i just tapped it right in here right into the side of there the next one is your signal in so that the signal in is gonna be a18 so a18 on here is gonna be a different plug it's not e plug it's a plug so a18 is gonna be blue normally closed a plug is this one over here it's the first one on your right but you're going to cut that wire in half the the end is going to be the harness side so you're going to splice that right there together and then the other side that's left that's on the ecu side which is the plug the plug side that's going to be your other side that's going to be your out so it's going to be this first one right here out so from there you're gonna hit your your other side of that wire the blue wire and that should be it guys um hopefully this helps somebody out there um you can find these diagrams online i'm gonna try and give you guys some links and stuff and i would recommend guys you start from the outside like i did mount your rack do all that um you know route your wire in start on the driver's side get that all situated then do the ecu side and get that all done um i've probably been here maybe I don't know. I've probably been here like four hours, five hours because I got to like record and talk to you guys in between. But hopefully this helps somebody. If it did, 
Um, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment, like it. Um, I kind of make this video because there really isn't one like this one. I know uh, Tony West, and I'll leave his information down below. He made one, and just basically off like forums and stuff. There might be some other stuff out there, but I pretty much just kind of just uh, made this video for you guys, and hopefully it helps somebody out there. So subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.